Okay. Hi, boys and girls. We have a special treat today. Officer Ribe is here to read us a story. Hi, everybody. Uh, again, thank you so much for letting me come to your class today and read to you this book. I'm going to tell you something really quick that I'm sure you already know about me. Do you guys notice that I talk a little bit different? I have what I call it's an accent. Do you guys know why? No? That's because I was born in a different country and I speak a different language. My first language is not English. I speak Spanish. Okay? So with that in mind, some of the words, sometimes I don't read them correctly because my, language, my first language is not English. And my two kids, I have an eight-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter, they teach me sometimes. They say, Daddy, that's not how you said that word. This is how you said that word. And I enjoy that because even though I make a mistake, they teach me. And they help me to, be, to, be, to get better at that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hope that you guys are the same by that, that you help each other. And you actually help each other to be better in a nice way, right? Always being respect, respectful being kind to each other right so i will be very i will try to read really slow so you guys can understand me what i'm saying and then you guys can tell me why this book is so cool this book is called number one number one set it's hard to turn the pages so i'll try to do my best sam was number one you guys see the number one in his car yeah, is that a racing car? Yeah. Yes, that car is really fast. He was number one in speed. Look at him, this is his car, he's happy, he's just going fast all the time. He was number one at turns when he's driving. He's going to take all these turns really fast, really safe too. He was number one at finishing races in the number one spot. Always. He was winning all the races, all the time. So, on the day of the big race, Sam wasn't worried one bit. He wasn't worried at all. He was thinking, I got this. I'm almost number one. He pulled up to the start wished good luck to his best friend Maggie. This is Maggie, his best friend. Elephant. What's that? Elephant. Elephant, yeah. Maggie ripped his engine and what do you think happened then? Let's see. Let's find out. Boom! Off they went. Sam zoom off to speed and nailed all the turns. He and Maggie were neck and neck. As they, as they headed for the finish line. Look at that, they were racing. They were going super fast next to each other. And then, I wonder what happened. Sam lost. He was always number one and he lost his race. Everyone was cheering for Maggie. Maggie was his, his, his best friend, remember? Everyone except Sam. He was not cheering for Maggie. Sam couldn't lose. He was the best at speed. He was the best at turns. He was the best at being number one. The night before the next race, Sam didn't sleep one wink. Look at him. He was awake the whole night. He was worried about the next race. At the starting line, Sam was quiet. The cars lined up. The engines were ripping and they were just pushing the gas and making loud noises with the cars. Sam didn't say anything to Maggie. To Maggie, He was too nervous. Look at him. All his friends were next to him, but he was looking to the other side. He was nervous. He was used to win. And he already lost one race. In fact, he was so distracted, he missed the starting flag. 
See, all the cars went ahead of him and he just stayed there. He stopped, he didn't move at all. Maggie and the other racers had a huge uh, lead, but Sam quickly came to them. Look, he was coming from behind and look at this. He was driving his best and soon passed to the front. Sam would be number one again. But then, see, look at his face. He's sad. He looks worried. He looks like <gasps> he saw them. But then he saw them. Let's see what he saw. Five chicks crossing the track. He was headed right for them. Sam could steer around the chicks, but would the other racers see them in time? What do you think? I don't know. Very quietly, don't be too loud, but can you guys make this night this sound? Screech. Just when you push the brakes and you go, screech. <laughs> okay, let's hear it, ready? Ugh. Sam slammed on his brakes. He skirted to the, uh, the chicks to safety as the other racers flew by. Look at him. He took all the chicks with him. Do they, like, do they look scared? No. I think so. Sam finished in last place. The chicks thank uh, oh, Sam finished in last place. The chicks thanking him the whole way. Look at them. The chicks were saying, you are my idol. Could you slow down, please? And one of them said, I have to make a pit stop. <laughs> and we needed to go potty or something. <laughs> they were thanking him. Sam was disappointed. He was very sad. As he approached the finish line, he heard people cheering for, all, for the other racers. But as he got closer, he realized they were cheering for him, even though he was in last place. And even though he lost another race, his friends still thought he was number one. Look at everybody hugging. See, he was hugging Maggie, his friend. The end. Mm -hmm. like that do you guys like his story? So do you guys want, do you guys, do you have time for a couple questions? Of yeah. course, of course. Do you guys know why do you think I really like this book? Yes. Because they still think he's number one, but he's super perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, what else? Maybe you like the book because he won. Okay, okay. How about you? Maybe.